We, we can't do that. To be fair, everyone is dead. This is technically my, my first time I'm alone. I am not unfamiliar with such scenarios. I will be fine. I am always fine. But dark magic has cursed the whole ship and those aboard. Plus, to be fair, the zombies on this do look kind of cool as well. The zombies do really look cool. And it's like, it doesn't, that's that's just the one thing that World War II zombies did so good. It was the zombies, the zombies look fucking sick. So, not everyone is dead. Some are somewhere in between i will do something i always do something Not so dry. I would spit on your corpse. Are you interested in the lawn for this? No. <laughs> no. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it looks cool because, like, yeah, they've, like, put effort into the game, like, into the story, into the characters, but it's just... Right. The first things that everyone did, they did the first two maps. Obviously, the first maps that the new, like, you can say the first new maps. Voyage of Despair, well they did 9 first and then they did this. Everyone's reaction was like, wow yeah that looks pretty cool. Fucking did Bullet of the Dead, they're like, what the, f what the fuck's just happened? Throughout my life, whenever I have been in the presence of such wealth and opulence, Violence and deceit were lurking in the shadows. You know what I mean? It's like they're not really. <sighs> they hyped for it, but at the same time, they're not in a way. But the Blood of the Dead one, mate, yeah, it's like it's just totally wiped these two. There must be lifeboats nearby. I should get you can kind of say with Thingy when shadows of evil. Here for me now. Yeah. Oh, we're playing as celebrities again. And then when you finish it, everyone's like, right, we've been it, we finished the Easter egg. And then as soon as they see Richtofen come out of that portal, well, take the summoning key, and it's like. What the fuck just happened? Again. What the fuck just happened? And it's the same with Blood of the Dead. What the fuck just happened? The man is a bullet. He is always ready to fight. He is Perhaps a quick death is an act of mercy for such monsters. The blade lets me feel your death. Probably because this is a new story. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like yeah, I know what they're trying to do. It's like when they said with when they revealed zombies itself. It's like obviously now, nah, yeah, we've finished. Well, this is when obviously when they says yeah, we've finished with the evil story. We've finished that now. We're saying goodbye. That's it. It's finished. 
and then they say right because these are the new four characters that we're going to be playing as and I hope we you like them like we do and it's like if you want us to enjoy something apart from the Aoife story, why the fuck do you put something like that within the Aoife story that's connected to the main characters? And then it's just going to be like... I don't want to play these maps because... I want to play other ones because it's got the original fucking characters on it. And they come out and say, oh, Classified's got something really big that's going to blow your mind. And it's like, then I don't want to play other ones then. Without be, with there being no campaign, S sorry, but I personally think there is a campaign on this game. When you play the multiplayer shit, there's a campaign behind it. I even shown you with that fucking woods and mason cutscene. Flesh, bone, everything is fused. There is a campaign on this game, guaranteed. There is a campaign, but it's just the, it's just the way that they've done it. What will the newcomers be playing the most? If obviously if there's new people into it... My bullets are few. Obviously it'll be a mix. Bonus point. I will become wise to your tricks and deceptions, Phantom. But obviously, if it had... The, the only reason why this is a thing is because of that story. It because of the Aether story. story. They have to keep that Aether story alive. They have to keep it alive. They can't get rid. They can't get rid of the Eve story. They just can't. If they knew Voyage of Despair 9 or new compared to Black Iron Classified, would they pick the new story instead? No. You want payment? Merde! This voyage really was for the rich! In my personal opinion, no. It's like with these. I am glad. Double glad that I did not have this is my first time playing this map. Final Technically, this is my first time playing this map, and it's like I've not played the played this because I've played the fuck out of the other two. Because what it is and what they've got on it. Yeah, don't get me wrong when I said when I'll play in nine. Don't get me wrong. I really enjoy playing nine. It is it's a good map. It's a really good map. The whole atmosphere and shit, it's 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 a good on take to it. Don't get me wrong. The fact. It appears altered. And it's like with this map, I might, if I start playing this map, I might enjoy this one. Because of the atmosphere and shit. Because for zombies, that's what makes, like, for a good map, yeah, it's the atmosphere of the, of the map, in a way. It's like with Mob of the Dead, that's why everyone loves Mob of the Dead, it's because of the atmosphere of it. Characters, 
And like, yeah, don't get me wrong, these characters are good. They, 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 it's like with Brutus, the guy that I'm playing as now. I prefer to play as him than anybody else because he seems like a, a cool dude. And the, the voices for this one is sick. The announcer is sick. Cut. Boom. The artifact made these altars appear, but why? Cut. Boom. The ammo supply dwindles. After death, I still hear it scream. I but for newcomers, you think they'll pick the new story, then going into the middle of a story that if they are looking for a story. Yeah, but at the same time, you can technically say that with the Eva story, Blood of the Dead, it is a new story because it's a different timeline, it's a different version. So it is technically a new thing. I am empty. Fresh story from then from being lost in the story. Yeah, it was just like what I just said. It is technically a new story now because we're not going to do Grove on Croving. Like I said, Black Ops 3 was pretty much same again. It's like they've erased it. That, it's not happening. It's not going to happen. I feel you Bonus points. It's happened, but it hasn't happened because obviously that rips off and that's somehow I frozen that time to that fucking and thing. He's the ripped off and that created, he completed the cycle. He beat Doctor, he beat fucking Shadow Man, he beat everything. But now he's come back. He's gone. He's come. It's an alternate timeline of him coming back. Now he's like, now this version, we are going to beat Doctor Monty instead obviously there's no such thing at this minute in time there's no such thing as dr monty there's no such thing as the shadow man because like i said on grove on crovy that's when the I shadow man i mean the dr monty Maybe that's when he comes time. into it that's when the, the characters start to know dr monty because obviously that's when Nikolai says, when, when Rick Toffin says, you need to read the Canorium, you need to keep your soul so you can defeat Dr. Monte. And he's like, who? Who's, who the fuck's Dr. Monte? Because obviously they've not played, Revel they've not, we've not gone to Grove and Grove. Everything aboard this vessel has become twisted and malformed. But for what purpose? The story is mental. Yep, that's why everyone fucking loves it. Because now it's like they've done what they did with fucking Black Ops 3. You've seen the ending of Shadows of Evil. And obviously, yeah, with the giant, it's like even when you play the giant, yeah, there's like little hidden, different secrets, hidden secrets, there's this, that, and other. It's like when you played fucking Black, when you played Shadows of Evil, you did the Easter egg, and it's like, so that's ripped off from, from, it's ripped off from, from Origins, and it's like, I want to buy the season pass now, because I want to know what's going to go off on the, on the DLC maps, and obviously, look what happened. And I personally think it's what's going to happen with this. When the DLC has come out, it's going to carry on with those with, with the original characters. Tomorrow's wars will be fought with weapons like this. And it kind of looks like that we're going to staffs. We're getting the staff crystals. We've already got one. We need four more. We need three more. Basically, like with with, with the souls, the giant. We got. Rick Top and Soul. 
The next three DLCs, we got Rest of the Souls. The fourth DLC, it's the ending. It's the last fight. It's the battle. To work towards it. To go to that fight. And obviously with this one, it could be the, the same. We got all the crystal parts and then we made the original staff parts. The original staffs. Since on Origins, the staffs were copies of the original. But it wasn't the full potential of the staffs. So obviously now, when if they make it so that is the thing... The last map, we're going up against Dr. Monty, is the Fingy crew, the crew that obviously got sent back. So you never know the next map. You never know the next map, the next DLC map. It might be a map where we're playing as Takio. Takio dies. Takio sacrifices himself. And then that over that the Takio that completed the cycle comes back. He needs to do something that he doesn't want to do, and it triggers that over Takio to come back. And then vice versa. It works with Dempsey. Dempsey dies. But obviously the only person that's not really going to die is, is Nikolai. Because he's the key. Something's up with Nikolai. He's the one that's not going to die. Maybe they do, they're going to do like some fusion shit from Dragon Ball Z. The, Rick the Nikolai that we're playing as now, and then the other Nikolai, the one post fucking revelation, they do fucking fusion dance and fucking fuse together, and then they become a god or something. I don't know. Black Ops 2 Zombies was weird. Black Ops 2 Zombies was a bit the same to me. Every map seemed to have a bar. Every map seemed to be about each per each character. Yeah, that's what it was all about. Each map was about certain characters. Like it was their origin, as you can kind of say. Just long enough for us to move to a stronger position. The giant. It's at the place where where the the zombies first got like the first ever zombie got created. It's where Richtof and did his grand scheme and obviously he dies there I have no ego. the next map is obviously is it Bastille? am I still in one piece the other map derives the drag it's Dempsey that's gonna go to the moon and get tested on to get woken up and then obviously it works out to be him then blowing up earth obviously it's a repeat of this thing I could not allow your insult to go unanswered and then obviously the next maps, Takio's map. It's all about honor, samurai, stuff, spiders, I don't know. And then obviously Grove on Crow V is Stalingrad, where, where Nikolai fought in the war. A piece of Mademoiselle's gear. Hopefully it lives up to the stories. I do not know what spirits torment the bowels of this ship. But I know they are not at peace. Hey, this guy, just chill it. What use is this? Totem. Stay back! Sir. Something about the blood vials killing off each version of the character. Well, wow, but that's the thing. Contagion. At the end of the Blood of the Dead cutscene. They destroy, well, Richtofen destroys. I don't think Nikolai destroys his blood vials. I think Nikolai still got the blood vials. I think he has. I think Nikolai's still got the blood vials. But I think he's got Richtofen's blood. Because uh, that's the only thing. Richtofen's blood must somehow create portals. Because like I said, when Richtofen gets his blood fully drained, the portals appear. He dies, they fuck off. They're gone. Sometimes... Fire brings new I think life. he dropped them, didn't this he? Fire them. Brings only death. I don't think he dropped I don't think I'm pretty sure he kept them. I don't think he did anything. 
because you don't exactly see it because you see him like look at him I do not look but it does kind of look like Richtoff and does pull his arm out to say give me him so I can fucking shove him up my arse or something so because obviously when it pans away when you see all four of them walking through the portals you can see the blood vials on the floor or smashed up When would the DLC come out? I don't know. But obviously they've got a big... What the DLCs could be, we do not fucking know. That's the one thing. Because it's like... That's the one thing that, that boggles people. It's like... Are they going to carry on with the... Plus at the same time, is it like... What we've just seen of Blood of the Dead, is it the ending? Or are they actually going to carry on with it? And it's like... The way that it ends, it's like a yes and a no. Because... The DLC has changed, the timeline's changed, like Rick Toffin says, the book's changed, everything's changed. He's the one that completed the timeline, he completed the cycle. But he didn't break it, he completed it. And obviously, like I said, he completed it and then Dr. Monty just sent them back to when it all started again. But obviously now, since Rick Toffin has sacrificed himself, Rick Toffin sacrificed himself, He's broke the cycle now because that wasn't what's supposed to originally that's like in a way that's not supposed to happen but it is because since Rick Toffin sacrificed himself he's broke the timeline he's broke the cycle from him sacrificing himself he broke the, the cycle so obviously now the cycle's changed kind of like with the book the book's changed like from when Rick Toffin got there, he told him to read it again because he's like, hold on, it's fucking changed. Why is it changed? Because it's changed, it's because Rick Toffin is supposed to die there and he does die. He sacrifices himself. To allow those other three to escape. Like what I said. Rick Toffin's going to sacrifice himself to allow the other three to fucking escape. But the only thing that I didn't see is that we're going to see post fucking revelations Rick Toffin just appear out of nowhere. And then he tells Nikolai to read the book to find out his true purpose. He's the key behind it. But it's like... The, it's just the way that it ends. That's the one thing. It's just the way that it ends. They both, all three of them, go through a portal each. They don't go through the same portal. All three of them, well, all four of them, go through a different portal. But then, when it pans to Richtofen, you only see you only see three portals. You see the the three portals of where Takeo, Dempsey, and Nikolai have gone through. You don't see the fourth one. Because that's why, that's what he says. That when he comes up to himself, and he says, I should be, I, I should be sorry, but I'm not sorry. Because he knows, because he's selfish. Rick Toffin it was supposed to die there. But he, he didn't die, but he did. Rick Toffin sacrificing himself, he's died at Blood of the Dead. Since he died at Blood of the Dead, he's broke the cycle. But the Rick Toffin with the fit with the suit on post revelations, he didn't die, but he was supposed to die there. That's why he knew when you played all re through revelations, he knows for a fact that's where he should have died. But he didn't want to die because he's selfish. Because obviously that was the whole point of the blood vials, of him saying this is my base and my policy to stay alive. 
I know what the Shadow Man's going to do. I know what Dr. Monster's going to do. He's going to teleport us away. And obviously, that's what the whole point of the blood vials were. is to make it so they just didn't disappear. They could also live in this peaceful world, in a way. Because, yeah, to be fair, it seems a bit fucked up that the other characters don't really acknowledge him. Like, he's, sac he's basically sacrificed. He does, well, they do, like, when he gets in it, because where Dempsey says, he says, what the fuck are you doing? Get him out of there. Rip him out. But apart from that, as soon as he does it, it's like those three just don't give a shit about him. And it's like what he says. He says, I, d I did everything. I made everything the way it's supposed to be. And he did. And obviously that's when he said, it's when he mumbles it to himself, where he says, I'm the nicest one, but you're just going to forget about me, which they will, because of the element 115. And it's like, he was basically the versions of Richtofen's that he was the nice one. Where at the same time, the post-revelations Richtofen is that Richtofen. Okay. Because there, there won't be a second part of Blood of the Dead, that's it. Blood of the Dead's finished. It's done for. That's why it goes black and white. When Rick Toffin, basically when Rick Toffin dies, that's when that map dies. That's when that universe dies. Because Rick Toffin's died. Rick Toffins died, so that dim dimension, portal, life, whatever, universe is dead. That's the reason why it goes black and white. Rick Toffins died because the, t the timeline's changed. He basically, him sacrificing himself, freed everybody. He freed every single soul within Purgatory. He freed every single soul. basically sacrificed himself for the greater good that's what he did he sacrificed himself for the greater good in a way but obviously he didn't want to do that because obviously when he took it when he put himself, in, himself into the machine and obviously when that over Rick Toffin come up to him he's like oh you're actually gonna take me out of the machine but he don't because he knows that's this is what should happen. That ripped off and should die, and he does. He dies. Will the weasel be saved? Yeah, but that's the thing with Blood of the Dead. It's actually after. It's after the Blood of the. It's Blood of the Dead is after Mob of the Dead. No Because there's even a quote, because Dempsey says a quote. Dempsey says a quote about the other, the other four. I can't remember what he said. He actually says something about the other four. They all just caught fire! Bravo! I am entertained, huh? Bonjour, <laughs> Bonjour, Shovelman! Well, at least it is a finer fate than remaining a cold okay. monster. Ooh, I didn't know it. Shovelman dropped the key. Do we have something to unlock? We surely do.
because that's the main reason why Richtofen got their blood. It's because it was in purgatory. It was a complete cycle all the time. It was in purgatory. That's the whole point of purgatory. This is a necessity. Obviously, they drink that blood that keeps them alive because they can't die. They die, they just come back. I am very low on the Basically, nation. what the warden was pretty much doing, he was dying and he was coming back. So he got trapped in there. And obviously, the way for him to get out, he needed Richtofen's blood to create a boat to get out. What fresh hell is this? So he could create a portal to get out of purgatory. Because the Dempsey, because of the, because of the quote that Dempsey says we're in, when they're in the cages, Dempsey says you're trapped on this island like us, pal. Something like that. That's, that's what Dempsey says to the warden. You're gonna fucking die or what, devil? Are you gonna die? Is Death it that? not always come quickly. Sometimes it is. Max ammo. Because it's like you can kind of say they've done it like in two different ways. They've done it with Blood of the Dead. The way it ends, it's like. So is that it, or is it gonna carry on? And it's just the same with these, with this with this story. You play this one first, you do this Easter egg, you find out that the dude that I'm playing as is like, he's, he looks he looks like he's evil or something. Or he's been fucking mutated with the fucking ah, evil shit. Yes. And then... I enjoy that very much. The nine happens, and then obviously you only see Diego's head come out. Obviously say that he's been, he's been obviously he's got his head chopped off. Obviously you only see fucking Diego. Obviously, we don't know if it's happened to the other three. But maybe at the same time, it has. I mean, it's like, so... What are we going to do? What... What are we going to be playing as? And I personally think... We're going to be playing as the fucking original crew from Classified. That's who I personally think we're going to be playing as. They're going to be connected in some fucking way. Because like I said, with the fucking Dempsey quotes, the post-moon Dempsey quotes, where he says, I need to get out of this place. I need to set things right. We need to set things right. There's no Richtofen. You can kind of say for both groups, at this minute in time now, there's no Richtofen. It's just those three. There's no Richtofen, but at the same time, there is. And obviously, with Classified, it's an alternate It's an alternate world of the Eva story from the beginning. Because Classified shouldn't even be happening. Same with, the, like what I said with the Blood of the Dead. It's pretty much the same with that. It shouldn't be happening. From what pretty much what Nikolai says, from when you get to when you play Revelations and then you go straight to Blood of the Dead, and he says, "We didn't stay here long enough for Richtofen's agenda, whatever that may have been." But obviously now, with Blood of the Dead, you do stay there, and you know what Richtofen wants to do. So maybe on a map of some kind, it's actually going to show us how the post-revelation Rickhoffman got in that Cairo chamber. How did he get there? Because even he doesn't know how he fucking got there. Don't 
Because obviously, at the end of the revelations, we see them all on the on the on the hill, and then that's it. But apart from that, we don't see anything else. It just comes up the end. That's it. Your death should be a warning for the others. The remote simply push the fire cool overboard. So obviously, if they got if they are going to do that. We're gonna kill off the other characters. They're gonna die because, like, there's a sin that they. It's like what the Shadow Man says. It's like what the Shadow Man says. Why do you. The, the, the croak has even says it on Revelation. Why do you do the things you do? How is it the sins. It he, he says something with sins. I know what you have done, or something like that. The bad, your bad sins. So, obviously, each of the characters have got a bad sin. And obviously with Rick Toffins, the one for him, he was too selfish to die. So obviously he created something, he basically created those fucking blood vials so he could stay alive. So he's, he's obviously being selfish. And obviously that's what should have originally happened to Rick Toffins. He should have died at Blood of the Dead, but he didn't want to. He wanted to stay alive. So him being there, it's like, he shouldn't even be there. This timeline shouldn't even happen in a way. Because now it's like even with the tra like even with the title, Blood of the Dead. It kind of is, because it's Blood of the Dead. Because it's Rick Toffin's blood. He's dead. One less beast, the more successful. I'm gonna say I'm pretty sure there's an achievement, that's why I'm staying in here. Avoid despair, survive 20 rounds without, without uh, some of water. 